You've been walking, you've been talking, you've been transacting, you've been doing business, you've been going to work, you've been trying to do relationships, you've been trying to do your marriage, you've been trying to do ministry, but, but there are portions of your soul that feel dead. Dealing with soul wounds. Woman of God, what is a soul? I'm glad you asked. Uh, the soul is the faculty of the mind, of the will of a man, and the emotion of a man. I'm going to repeat that for somebody. The soulish nature of a man, this is the faculty where the mind, how you think and how you make decisions exists, where the will of a man exists and where the emotions of a man exists we're talking about dealing with soul wounds the hebrew word for a soul is nepesh n-e-p-h-e-s-h this is the n-e-p-h-e-s-h and the Hebrew word widely is widely defined as the life within us. So whenever somebody dies, you can still see the body, but the soul has gone to another place. This is the faculty of the mind. No wonder a dead, dead body can't think. This is the faculty of the will. No wonder even if a dead man wanted to rise, he would not have the willpower to rise. Uh, 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 this is the, the emotional faculty. No wonder a, dad, a dead man does not have any real emotions. It is the life within us. So we're talking about soul wounds. Dealing with mental, emotional wounds and willpower connected wounds. It's going to make sense. Prayer governors, when God saves our soul, he wants us to give him control of these three faculties, which is the faculty of the mind, the way you think, which is the faculty of your will. Some of us are saved, but we are still running on our own will. No wonder the decisions you make <laughs> have your signature on them. No wonder your life decisions, all of them, they reveal that you made them. The, the, these are yours. These are carnal decisions. Come on, somebody. <laughs> no wonder. No, no wonder the decisions you make, we can tell that your will is still very active. So when God saves our soul, he wants us to give him control over the faculty of the mind, how we think, the will, and the emotions. Our emotions. Somebody say, woman of God, I've been saved for half a decade, but my emotions get the best of me. They have destroyed my relationships. They have destroyed my business relationships. They have destroyed my friendships. They have destroyed uh, my, my ministry relationships. I, I don't know what it is about my emotions, but every time I am faced with a situation where I have to make a wise emotional decision, woman of God, I'm saved. I love the Lord, but my emotions get the, the best of me. Have you ever seen a, a Christians who say, I, I love the Lord, but I struggle with anger. I love the Lord, but I struggle with envy. I love the Lord, but I struggle in my emotional faculty. Or somebody that can say, I love the Lord, but I'm depressed. I love the Lord, but I'm anxious. The faculty of the mind, the faculty of the will, and the faculty of your emotion. Your soul got saved, but now you have to surrender these three areas. Uh, you have to surrender the, you have to intentionally surrender these three areas that make up your soul to the Lord. Pray, Governor, salvation regenerates the spirit. All right? It, it's a regeneration of the spirit. You are given a new spirit when you are saved. Uh, uh, but working out your salvation 
is still your responsibility. Working out your salvation has to do with you transforming and renewing these other three faculties, which is the way that I think, the way that I process life, my will, and my emotions. So many gave their, their spirit over to Christ. Many gave their spirit over to Christ. They, they got saved, uh, 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 but they have not gone through the transformation process. Today, we are dealing with soul wounds. 